Okay, so now that you've gone over the parts of the cell, what I want to do is go through with you the um, specific structures so that you know what numbers to label and also to color in. So the first structure that you talked about was the um, endoplasmic reticulum, more specifically the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough will be 5A, the smooth will be 5B. You can color them the same if you choose. The next structure that we want to make sure that you have listed is the mitochondria. The mitochondria uh, will be number four. So label all of the number four and color that in. The next structure will be the chloroplast. The chloroplast will be green because chloro means green. And all of the number sevens um, is what you want to color in and label. After the mitochondria, we will have the vacuole or the central vacuole. Now the vacuole is found in an animal cell and the central vacuole in a plant cell. Now I will tell you, this is a plant animal cell. So this isn't really a plant, even though it's square. Number nine is gonna represent the vacuole. It has more of an animal cell like vacuole than a plant cell. Check your book for the animal cell central vacuole. The number nine, we're gonna call it the vacuole. Then going on to our next structure is the lysosome. The lysosome um, is going to be that small structure that is number three. So label three lysosome and go ahead and color that in. After the lysosome, we have the flagella. Now the flagella doesn't have a number. It's that long hair-like appendage that you see there. So you need to label that. You won't need to color it. The next structure that we talked about is cilia, and cilia are those small hair-like projections that come out, and so you'll just want to label those as well. Then we have our Golgi apparatus. Um, not my favorite picture of a Golgi, but it is there, and there, there is the Golgi, so the Golgi apparatus would be number 22. The next structure we have are the centrioles, and the centrioles are actually, it's not a great picture because it's 2D rather than 3D, but the centrioles are actually going to be number 12, and the centrosome is that structure that's behind it. So number, let's see, 13 will be the centrosome, and the centrioles are those things at 90 degree angles. And that is all for the cell picture. There will be some that you do not have labeled and do not have colored, but please make sure that you color and label all that we talked about in class. Thanks. See you next time.